Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're going to look at the Navigraph Avionics plugin, which is just released for the G1000 NXi. So what well, the first thing you need to do is install the plugin. And to do that, you can go to the Navigraph Hub. Inside the Navigraph Hub, you will find an entry Avionics plugin G1000 version 1.1.0. And as you can see, I already installed it. If you didn't install it yet, just press the install button and then you're done. Let's go to Flight Simulator and then check uh, how we can use it. So to use this functionality for the plugin, well, we've got multiple options. And that's the good thing because it will add multiple new things to it. So to access the controls, what you need to do is you need to use this FMS button. And this FMS button allows you to navigate to the different menus. So currently you see the normal map, right? Nothing else, but it's say pretty cool. It's the G1000 NXI. So what we can do using the large knob, we can navigate to this menu. And as you can see, there are multiple options, right? There's the navigation map, there are the IFR and VFR charts, and there's the traffic map. So what we can do using this menu, we can let's say move to this but items on the bottom, right? You can see map. Uh, WPT, Waypoint, AUX, uh, FPL, uh, Nearest, and those are the options. And you can see that if I move one option to the right, which is the, oh, no, 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 I need to look at it, is the WPT, it will give me the airport information based on my current location. So it will give me all the information about the airport, but also here you can see the map. Currently you can see it's really zoomed in, but using this range button on the left side, you can change that, right? So you can simply move over here and then you can zoom in and out or out, or you can move to the right side or to the left side up and down. And this will simply show you all the information, but based on the map of Navigraph. So that's kind of cool, right? Because that allows you to see a lot of things. So inside this, you still have the, I would say, uh, options where you can navigate to, right? You can uh, switch a header on or off, which will allow you to zoom in to specific parts of the, uh, in this case, the chart for the airport, or you can simply go to uh, all, then you will see everything. Here you will also see that you can also rotate the map by pressing uh, ROTCW, which stands for clockwise, or CCW, which stands for counterclockwise. Based on that, you can also go to the uh, profile where you can see the profile, uh, the plan, and the header, as I just already explained. The minimums are also there, as well as the uh, fit wide, wide setting. But in this case, it's not listed on the, on the map, so in that case, it will not show it. If you want to go again to the full map, just press the All option, and there you will find all the information, in this case, from this airport. So that's feature number one. So the second feature is available in the flight plan. So in the flight plan, you'll see a new option has been added. So if I move the small knob to flight plan catalog, what it will do is it will pull the flight plans which I created using SimBrief, and then based on, I would say, my uh, source airport or my destination airport. So what I did prior to creating this video, I created a new flight plan, and that flight plan has now been loaded. So one thing which you might want to do is if you create a flight plan while already in the sim, then you need to press the refresh button. What it will happen, it will then simply refresh the list. Another, another option is to move away from this page and then come back. Then it will also auto refresh this page. The cool thing about this is that once we're here, we can press this button, right? Which is a small knob. Then it will illuminate this item. So it will illuminate the entry. And using the uh, knob here, you can move up or down in the list if you've got multiple flight plans. In my case, I've only got one, so no need to move up or down. If you found a flight plan which you want to use, you can see that the activate button is here. So press the activate. It will say, okay, hey, activate sim, uh, sim brief flight plan. Do you want to do that? Yes, I'm fine. And then based on that, it will simply load the flight plan which we previously created, I would say, in uh, sim brief. So that's a nice option, right? 
Here again, we've got the map options where we can change the default maps. However, in this case, it does not change really the things which were not available because the next red uh, and the terrain and the traffic were already there, right? You can switch it on or off. And those function, those I would say functionalities were already in the airplane. Uh, so there's no uh, new thing over here. However, there are some new stuff. Or sorry, there is some new stuff. Uh, in this menu also. So if we go to the uh, map one, which is on the left, you can see that also here's the uh, VFR, IFR charts. And those again are pulled from Tada Navigraph. So what you can do is you can move to the different maps, right? You can say IFR high, IFR low, VFR or world. So you can switch to different maps and then based on that, it will show you the accurate information. So if you uh, switch on uh, IFR low and then let's say use the zoom functionality uh, from this nice button or zoom, not zoom out, but I want to zoom in. Then you can see that there is more accurate information uh, being displayed. And here are the Navigraph maps again. Using the follow option, it will simply make sure that if the aircraft is airborne and you will fly a little bit more to the right, left or right, or to the north or to the south, then it will simply track and make sure that it will list you the accurate information on the map. So again, nice feature which they have added, uh, which gives you a lot of things, uh, a lot of information. Then we've got the traffic map, which is not really new because it was already part of it. So nothing new over here. Uh, but again, it's a nice feature, but not added by the uh, Navigraph uh, option. Then there's one additional page, uh, which I want to show you, and that's on the AUX page. So on the AUX page, you can define your subscription. So you can check out or check in and sign, sign out and sign, sign in. But you also have the ability to switch off the load procedures on import or load the airways on import. That's just to manipulate the import process of the SimBrief uh, flight plan inside the, this aircraft, right? It will simply give you a little bit more control, uh, which is, I would say, pretty cool to see. So a lot of nice things being added by this plugin, which will give you a lot of more information, uh, as you just saw, right? Uh, the cool thing is that um, based on this, you can add some other stuff also. Uh, if you want, for example, you can show the weather information if you want by pressing the uh, weather information button. Uh, let me show that uh, quickly. So then we need to go to the map over here. And there you can switch on the weather information that will directly pull the meter information. And then you can simply look at, okay, hey, what's the weather? Uh, do I need to be concerned? Uh, etc. So those are the things which you can do uh, from this view. And I would say, Based on some testing and based on some playing around with it, I really love this plugin. Uh, and I would say, I would, if you don't have a subscription yet, I would say, okay, hey, maybe you should buy it. Is it expensive? Well, if you look at the features which you will get from this plugin, I would doubt if it's really expensive. I don't think so. But hey, I can't talk how much money you want to spend on these nice additions. Do we've got some other options? Uh, I don't think so because we went to all the options over here. So we went to the weather, we went to the chart options. Uh, we have that sync option, which we, you can switch on, uh, which will make sure that it was, I would say, puts the aircraft or focus on the direct or correct location. So a lot of cool things added by the plugin uh, in this G1000 NXI. So in this video, we went over all the options in the G1000 NXi, which are added by the Navigraph plugin, specifically for the G1000 NXi, right? So only aircrafts having the G1000 NXi can benefit from this. Hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.